Hey friends! Today's weather is extremely gorgeous and it has me thinking ahead to summer and maybe hopefully visiting the beach. So today we're going to read a non-fiction book and learn a little bit about the ocean or the sea. This is an us foreign book and it's called Peek Inside the Sea. It was written by Anna Milborn and of course all rights to this book belong to us foreign publishing. So let's see what we can learn about the sea. What can you discover if you peek inside the sea? As the waves lap onto the shore, let me lift up the wave here, an anemone uncurls its wiggly tentacles and a spotted fish swims by. Okay, check that out. Put the wave back down. Who is hiding in this shell? Who do you think's hiding in this shell here? A hermit crab. In warm places, fish bustle around the jewel-bright coral. A hungry shark is hunting for lunch. Will it eat you, little puffer fish? Let's open it up and see. Not if I puff out my spikes. These yellow fish nibble dirt off of other animals to clean them. Who are they cleaning today? Let's lift this up. Can you guess yet? Let's look at the illustration. What do you think is hiding beneath these fish? A turtle. So the yellow fish were cleaning the turtle. Some sea creatures are good at escaping. A slithery eel gives an octopus a fright. So the octopus squirts a cloud of ink and makes a quick getaway. Some sea creatures are great at hiding. Is anyone hiding here? All right, before I lift it up, what do you think? Is anyone hiding beneath? This looks like maybe seaweed. A leafy sea dragon. Its body looks just like seaweed. I didn't even know that this creature existed. I just learned something from this book. That's so fun. Far out in the middle of the sea, a giant tail makes a splash peek under the water to see who's there. Okay, what sea creature do we know has a huge tail and might make a big splash? Can you guess it? An enormous whale and its baby too. Did you guess that? The sea itself is so very big, a boat could sail for weeks and weeks without meeting anyone at all. In some places, the sea is icy cold. Brr, who's going for a swim? Okay, before I lift up the flap, let's look. Here is the water line, and we see something under it. Who do you think this is going for a swim? Are you ready? It's a polar bear. A polar bear, its thick fur keeps it warm. Whoosh, schools of silvery fish swish by. They twist and turn. What are these? away from two hungry seals. So those are cold water sea creatures. Deep, deep down, the sea is as black as night. Twinkly lights blink and flash in the darkness. Creatures are sending messages. Hello, is anyone there? Hmm, I'm not really sure what that is. Is it maybe a jellyfish? Let's open this one too. Hmm. Hello, I'm here. People are exploring in a little submarine. Its light shines. Let's see what we can see with the light. Onto rocky towers with plumes of smoky water and white crabs and slinky fish. So this is way deep down in the ocean and the submarine light illuminates the ocean floor so you can see what lives down there. There are so many places to discover under the sea. If you could dive down deep, you might find a sunken ship, whatever could be inside. Let's open it up and find out. A sea snake, a giant octopus, and a lionfish. Watch out for those spikes. Let you look at that. If you look hard enough, you might even find treasure. 
Awesome. Thank you guys so much for exploring the ocean and the sea with me. Do you remember some of the sea creatures that we met in this story? We met a shark, an octopus. There was the leafy sea dragon, which I learned about. A hermit crab. There are so many animals and creatures that live in the ocean. One that we might think of a lot when we hear about the ocean wasn't even mentioned in this book. Do you know what it is? Where were the dolphins? So I encourage you to maybe do your own exploration on the ocean. Visit one of the aquarium's websites and learn about the animals that they have there. Bye guys.